From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is The Night Beat. Good evening, I'm Danielle Schenk with your headlines for Wednesday, October 16th. The Nebraska Supreme Court ruled to restore voting rights for convicted felons after completing their sentences. Despite months of debate and claims of unconstitutionality from the Attorney General, the court upheld the law for now, but left room for future challenges. Jason Kodis, who spent much of his life in prison, registered to vote for the first time today. I almost feel a sense of responsibility. This is so much bigger than just just me registering to vote today for the first time. Like this is this is about people that uh, maybe believe they never they don't matter. Advocacy groups like Civic Nebraska and the ACLU are celebrating the ruling while the attorney general expressed gratitude for the court's decision ahead of the upcoming election. The deadline to register to vote online is this Friday with in-person registration due the following Friday. Now to an update on the death of a teenager at Pill and Family Farms this April. OSHA has closed its investigation into Zachary Panther's death, determining it wasn't work related. OSHA's Office of Occupational Medicine and Nursing, along with the medical examiner, reviewed the autopsy to reach this conclusion. After a jury instruction error, Christopher Brennauer, who stabbed a Lincoln police officer in 2018, has been sentenced to up to 33 years in prison with credit for nearly six years served. He pleaded no contest to assault on an officer and other charges. The incident happened during a fight in December 2018 when the officer fired back, hitting Brennauer and another officer. In Aurora, an investigation is underway after a dust explosion at an ethanol plant. Crews responded around 10 o'clock last night, and officials say something overheated, igniting dust in the grain elevator. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the blast. The fire marshal and a grain inspector are on site today to determine the cause and assess the damage. Lastly, the UNL Water Skiing Club is gaining recognition after finishing third in their division at Nationals. Active on and on for about 45 years, the club has excelled over the last decade, practicing at Championship Lake in Ashland. Sam Weber, who competes alongside his sister, has now won three national titles. At the recent tournament in San Marcos, Texas, the Midwest actually had the most schools represented. Rounding out your night beat is a check of the seven day forecast. You've been listening to The Night Beat. Watch, listen, and stream on the 1011 app on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.